video on just what different waters will do for your uh, coolants and which ones you should use. And then we're going to make some Mayhem's Aurora too afterwards. So, this is what's called a TDS meter. You can get these uh, at your local fish store usually. Um, the tropical fish stores like reef aquarium stores will have these. Uh, filter water supply stores will probably carry them. I got this on eBay for like three bucks. It doesn't cost anything really. Uh, Mayhem sells them too. I'll put a link down below to that item. Uh, so anyways, you just turn it on like that and as you see it's reading 0.00, .00 which means it's good. So it's got a sensor on the bottom and you can use this with any water. And what it is, is your reading is however many parts per million, which tells you how much uh, debris and sediment and chemicals is in the water. So let's move this guy over here off to the side. And we're going to start with the well water, which is right out of my well. And this is actually filtered with a water softener and a reverse osmosis uh, one stage filter. So, looks about 305 TDS. This water would be absolutely horrible to use in your water cooling loop and really for anything. Uh, we don't drink it. <laughs> we run it through our filter in the fridge, which really honestly netted me about 200 TDS is still not acceptable. So we were switching to bottled water around the house. Uh, this is city water from here locally. And that's 298 TDS. Not much better than the well water, but they add chemicals and other things back to the water in order to make it stable to pump through the pipe. So this is a little bit of different nasties that you're dealing with. Uh, this is RO water from my local fish store, or saltwater fish store. Uh, now these next couple are going to be a, uh, different depending on where you go, but this is 10 TDS, a much better improvement. Uh, if you're in a pinch, I would definitely drink or use this water no problem. Uh, this is dependent on how often they change their filters. You may go to a fish store, it hasn't changed it in a while, and it's due to be changed, and that reading is going to be much higher. Uh, so make sure you ask them before you get the water for them. You know, when did you change your filters last? And they do, usually don't mind. If you have a TDS meter, take it with you, or they've got one there usually, and they can show you how clean their water is. Uh, usually this is going to cost you about, for fresh water from a fish store, it's going to be about... 25 to 50 cents a gallon depending on the store. Uh, so next we move over to the RO out of a machine. This is that glacier water and this one is 5 TDS, a little bit better than the fish store. This one happens to have been changed. The filters uh, were changed at the beginning of the month. I did take a picture of the machine that I used to get this water with the date. Uh, so I'll put that somewhere in the video here, maybe down here so you can see uh, what you're looking for when you go up to those machines. That is by far the best deal. It's $1.75 for five gallons of water or 25 cents a gallon. And the uh, filters are changed out usually monthly, if not sooner, depending on who's managing the machine. All right, this is your purified water from Blur brand. I'm sure you guys know where that's actually from, but we're not saying. And that is three TDS. It's even better than the RO out of the machine. Uh, the really surprising one is the nursery water which is at 22 TDS uh, which is understandable because it says back that they add minerals for taste so that's what you're picking up is the minerals that they added back into the water and the absolute winner that if you're in a pinch and you don't care distilled water from your local grocery store 0, 0.00 absolutely pure not a thing in it uh, dollar a gallon I think I may have actually paid 98 cents or something for that and this should be enough for you to do a couple loops so out of all these my pick is the distilled water from the grocery store which is really surprising because I thought I was going to end up going with the RO water so as promised we're going to go ahead and mix our Mayhem's Aurora 2 Blue using the water that we just determined is what you guys should use. So, for the Aurora, if you buy the concentrate, and this is why I say you guys should buy the concentrate, because the extra shipping that it costs to send one liter of pre-mixed, it's not worth it. Uh, when you can go buy this for 
probably 75 cents at even the dollar store. Uh, it's just not worth it in the end. So you're going to take this, and if you look at the read, the instructions, you're going to mix 250 milliliters with 750 milliliters of pure water, equaling one whole liter. Uh, one whole liter, if you don't know, equals 1,000 milliliters. Uh, so what we're going to do is I've got my little trusty water bottle here. Uh, if you've got a beaker or whatever you want to mix it with. And this is how I measure and mix all my coolants with this guy here. Because all of Mayhem's always makes one liter. Uh, their concentrates for the clear make like four liters. But you can measure that out separately. I'll probably do a separate video for those. But today we're doing the Aurora Blue. Uh, this is the same for all the Auroras and the uh, pastels. So, we're, make sure you shake up your bottle real good first. I'm sure that sounds funny on the camera. I, I promise I'm not doing what it sounds like I'm doing, or may even look like I'm doing. Maybe I am. I'm off camera. What do you know? So, get it all nice and mixed up. And at that point, you will open it up. Look at that beautiful blue color in there. Kind of love the Aurora. It's so cool. So, put it in there, and as you see, it comes up to 250 milliliters, just what it says is in the bottle. And I like to get every last drop out of there. In fact, I'll even take a little bit of my uh, distilled water. And I'll put it back in the bottle. Put the cap back on it. And I will give it another little shake. put it in your bottle now your bottle is clean so at this point what you want to do is bring it up to the 1000 milliliter point and there you go you just made yourself a batch of Aurora 2 uh, your choice of color but in this case it's the blue the containers blue so you can't see it too well if your system holds more than one liter uh, Obviously you can mix two of these and then you just use however much you need. I would not suggest just adding more water. The the Aurora, all of the coolants from Mayhem's are scientifically proven to work. There's a reason why they tell you to mix this with a certain amount of coolant to water. There's it's the way the Aurora works, the way it swirls, the way it stays mixed. Uh, and most importantly the way it cools your system so make sure you follow the instructions I can't stress that enough with this stuff you're not playing with uh, a toy here this is professional coolant it's not like just throwing water in your system and whatever you need to make sure you get the mixtures right otherwise you're not going to be happy with the performance of the Aurora or your pastel or whatever it is you're using if you don't mix it right so make sure you follow the instructions and you mix it properly. Alright, this has been a sponsored video by Aurora. Uh, as you see, they provided the Mayhem's Aurora 2. If you need to buy this or any of their Aurora products, make sure you check their website out down below. And thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you liked it. Like it. If you didn't, well, you know what to do. And stay tuned for all my other Mayhem's videos coming soon.